Hi, welcome to my channel, Tago Yaki Tarot. Today is June 19th, Wednesday, 2024. So, before I get started, I want to remind anyone that's watching that these messages are not going to resonate with everyone, and that's okay. If they resonate with you, because you clearly great. If it does not, then don't force it to be your story. So I'm just going to start pulling cards. I'm going to try and do this um, reading as quick as I can, but we'll see what happens. So the first card that came out is Concern. Um, you know what? There's also something about these plants that I just noticed in the background. I think they're lilies. Let me see something real quick. Hold on. Okay, I just saw 222, so I was right. Um, they're lilies, um, calla lilies, actually, right here. So um, they could be an older masculine around you, an older male around you that is concerned because calla lilies represents like a rite of passage, um, pure holiness. What else does it say? Uh, faithfulness um, uh, is often used to mark life's rites of passage. So, the number 33 could be um, significant as well, but I feel like there is an older man that's concerned because you're getting something. Give me one second. So I'm hearing the time is upon us. Um, and I saw 222 twice today, one from the time and then one when I was, when I had just like paused the video. Um, and then there's 33 on this card. So there's something that is like falling into place for you. So there's an older man that is concerned. There's nothing he can do about this. There's something that's. like in due time something will be yours in due time or and there's nothing that can be done about it and there's some like so rite of passage means a ceremony or event marking an important stage in someone's life especially birth puberty marriage and death but i'm getting the feeling that what is to be for you is like because so it's something like mirroring so what is to be for you means the complete opposite for somebody else so the best explanation I can give is if you are getting a promotion, obviously someone is not getting that promotion, right? Like if you are getting 
something, someone that is, it, it's a for sure, it, it's like something, uh, an agreement or something. It's, it's like a finalization is like for sure someone is not getting it. And it's already clear that you are getting this. And that's why this man, all he can do is just sit back and just like be concerned and being his feelings. There's nothing he can do about it. This rite of passage is for the Holy One. That could be you. In due time, there's nothing that can be done about this too. It's what's yours is yours. And that means when you get what is yours, that person is not going to get. They're not going to get it. All right. Okay, let's move on. Oh shit. All my cards just fell. Hi. <laughs> Hold on, let me pause it. How does it feel? Well, I can. Here, I will help you. There you go. Poverty. Yeah. So whatever you are for sure getting, it could be this um, older man that's in co that's like concerned because either I'm getting the feeling that this older man is concerned because if like for example, this is what is coming to me right now. If he was trying to make sure that you would not get something so that somebody else would for sure get that thing, that didn't happen. So let's say, for example, this older man, like a grandpa or like a great grandfather or like an older father in age, whatever. If he was trying to make sure that you would not get something so that somebody else in the family would for sure get it, right? Because if you got it, that means that whoever he wanted to get it would be in this energy poverty or they would have they would be in lack of or whatever the case it is like let's say he did the most to make sure that you would not get it you're getting this it's like a it's like a rite of passes like this is already like I, I, somebody's getting scolded too he could be getting scolded by the people that he promised they would get something they're not getting it so that's another reason why he's concerned because you are for sure getting this thing and whoever he promised would get this, they're not getting it or they're about to be in poverty and there's like nothing he can do so now he's just like sitting in feelings like he's he's concerned because he's like, oh my God, what did I do? What have I done? I'm also hearing what have I done? What have I done? And like I shouldn't have promised that. I shouldn't have said that. Now he's like going back to all the promises that he made and all the things that he said because you, like I said, if you're getting this promotion, somebody for sure is not getting the promotion. Whatever you are getting, it's like it's like a mirror, like as above, so below kind of thing. As you get this thing up from above, someone is going to get the opposite from down below. So if you're, if you are to not live in a life of poverty, someone else, is, it's a balance. And I hate to say that, but like, and I feel like that's why he's really concerned because it's like there's nothing he can do. Like he tried the most to make sure that whoever, I feel like he wanted to be in control of a chosen one. But like let's say God said you're the chosen one collective. For some reason he didn't want you to be the chosen one. He wanted someone else to be the chosen one. So he tried to do the most to make sure that you would not get this rite of passage or blah, 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 blah. And God's like, no. I said this person is the chosen one 
My collective is a chosen one. And so he did the most. And God's like, let me let me show you something real quick. How about you sit down and you're feeling, because I'm about to show you something real quick, right? And this is what God's showing them, that whoever God chose to be in poverty is to be in poverty. And that's not you, collective. And I, I know that sounds like real, like, I don't know. I don't really care, but whatever. But that's what's going on. <sighs> Actually, he could also be somehow, like... Connected to, but not really connected to this person that he chose. So this could be somebody that's like family or a friend, but it's not exactly blood. But it's like he wanted this person to be the pillar of some sort of image. But unfortunately, that's not how that works. Just because you want someone to be or to have something, if God says otherwise, then God says otherwise. Oh my god, there's cats and a rat. There's a cat and a rat in this poverty card. I never I never saw this before. I also feel like if this man did something to like um like let's say this this older man like had a um a poor childhood a poor childhood or something, he wanted to make sure that his children or his chosen one or his favorite one would not experience that. But unfortunately, like, whatever he was trying to make sure you would not get. Like, you can't take something from somebody else because they're destined for something great or a luxury life or a comfortable life or a successful life. And you can't, like, my cards have fell again. Hold on. If, if that was in the cards for you. And, like, if there's something in this person, this masculine's lineage where, like, they're just not, I don't want to say they're not meant to have it, but they're just not, like, their lineage is not where they should be to be able to receive this success or um, luxury or comfortability or whatever kind of lifestyle that, you know, they could be living in. But their, that, their bloodline is not ready for that. And I feel like he tried to jumpstart that for his bloodline or his family or whatever the case it is by taking it from you. And that's why God's like, let me let me show you something because what you think you're doing, you're not about to do. Right? Because the collective is ready for this. This is theirs. And I feel like this this older masculine was trying to like jumpstart something for his family or his bloodline or his chosen one or whoever he chose to have this. And God's like, they're not ready for that yet. And I really, I, I feel like it really has to do with, like, his childhood. Like, if he grew up poor, like, he was trying to do something to, like, jumpstart to make sure, like, his children or, like, his favorite people or his whatever would not have the same struggles or poverty or foundation that he started off with. But I also feel like a lot of that is also, it, it comes with like choice too, because you can't like, if the people that he chose or the people that he wants to live a certain lifestyle, if he wants them to live a certain lifestyle, that's great. You can want that all you want. But if they themselves are not choosing that either, then what are you doing taking it from someone and giving it to them either? You know what I'm saying? It's like. You collective, if you're choosing to live a peaceful lifestyle and heal and do this, and do, then obviously, like, yes, you're ready for this. Like, that's why God's giving you what is rightfully yours. But, like, if he's trying to take what's rightfully yours and give it to family members that are nowhere near ready, are not doing the work, are still operating in toxic ways and blah, blah, blah. Like, what are you doing giving something pure and holy and, like, you know, like, fresh to people who are still karmic? And that's why I feel like he did the most because a lot of it, a lot of his actions stemmed from his own personal trauma and childhood and whatever he went through as a child or young adult, whatever the case it is. And I don't know, he just did the most, this older guy, <laughs> this older guy. All right, so...
community. This is a community. So he wanted to like be like the one who doles out blessings or abundance or like cause the shots and people and like of uh, like I don't know. He wanted to be the head, like the pillar of a community, and like or have be seen in that power or have that power. And God's like, you can play the part all you want, but at the end of the day, you don't have that power, right? Like, it's like an actor or an actress. Like, um... The guy who plays Superman, Clark Kent, right? At the end of the day, it's a role. It's not... He doesn't really have those powers. He doesn't really have that connection to, like his home planet or whatever you know he's he's an actor playing a part he doesn't have those powers for real and this is this man right here he plays a really good role and the role that he's playing but at the end of the day it's a role that he's playing it's not really his power it's not really his gift it's not really his ability to claim who gets what when where and how so i feel like this community of people they're like scolding this older man because it's like well you said blah 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 and here they are still in poverty somehow some way you know what I'm saying like yeah that's what you get for listening to like false prophets that's why in one of my readings I kept getting the um the thing uh one of the bible verses signs and wonders but only the two of them kept popping up like and it was about the sheeps and slaughter. Like, if you haven't seen that video, go watch that video. It was something about, like, the thumbnail is like a bunch of sheeps, right? And it was something about a, a false leader led a bunch of people to the slaughterhouse, right? So it's kind of, and uh, one of the things I kept repeating was signs and wonders. And there's two, I mean, it, there's a couple Bible verses that talks about signs and wonders and things. But the one of, two of the main ones that I kept talking about was, you were actually following the true signs and wonders because you have God in your heart collective. And then the people, the community, were following the fake signs and wonders spoken to them by this false prophet, this false leader, false preacher, false man, false whatever. And now all he's done was just lead them to more and more poverty. And they're just like, what do we do? You said this. And now this man's just like, oh my God, what did I do? And here you are in your own world, la la la, because, you know, you're about to get this thing and, you know, God said, I told you, watch what I can do. And now they're watching what God, the Most High, can do. Let me, let me, hold on, hold on. All right, I'm back. Um... thoughts so now everybody is starting to everybody has <laughs> I feel like this older masculine in the community they're all thinking about the same woman um, it's good thoughts bad thoughts confused unsure you know they all have the same woman on their minds for different reasons so you could be divine feminine, you could be divine masculine, doesn't matter. But I'm just saying woman because there is this woman, right? There's one masculine in particular that's thinking about this feminine, but you could be this divine feminine or divine masculine, right? But I feel like everybody, the community and this older masculine that thought he was like large and in charge... I'm, I don't, I'm getting the feeling that this man really thought like he knew what God wanted. Like he knew that like he was for sure who would get blessings and who was abundant and who was connected and who was touched by the most high God and who's blah, blah. Like he 
swore up and down like he knew what was why and come to find out God's like no you don't no you don't like how, how, how would you know something that I didn't even tell you like what makes you think that you're like I didn't tell you to do that right I didn't tell you to say that I didn't tell you to act upon this I didn't tell you to try and take this like I really, it really has to do with you. This man, for some reason, felt like you were unworthy of God's precious gift. And God's like, let me, let me show you something real quick, All right? Because this woman definitely is, or this man definitely is. Pathway reversed on the bottom of the deck, yeah. So not only did this man go down the wrong path, thinking that he was God's right hand man, but he led all of these people down the wrong path too and now everybody is like thinking about you they're scolding this man and they're now they're concerned because they're about to be in poverty or like you said this we're still we're still living in poverty what's going on you said this 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 right so how is it that the collective the divine feminine divine masculine is still getting blah 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 All right, um, so let me move on now. I'm hearing that Kesha song, blah, blah, blah. It's really just, that one song is just really about her not listening to people talk crap about her. Privileged lady reverse. Yeah. So he swore up and down that you were not a privileged lady. That's crazy. I feel like because, I don't know, he, this would be somebody like, you know, like in Salem witch trials, like there needs to be like that one person in the community or whatever that like calls the shots and like oh this man said that so it must be true it's kind of like that so because this man thought and felt and whatever about you well he knows what he's talking about because he's a preacher or he's this or he's that or he's the boss or he's this like he knows what he's talking about right come to find out no I thought you said this I thought you said that Wow. Proverbs 25, 26. A righteous man who falters before the wicked is like a murky spring and a polluted well. So if this man was maybe once upon a time a good man. Um, he, I don't know, let himself get polluted. Like felt like he had the power. I got the power. I also feel like um, I mentioned how there was like uh, another masculine thinking about you, divine feminine. This, this, um, I feel like there's a masculine on the sidelines that maybe was like in cahoots with everybody or mingled with everybody or like friendly with everybody or whatever the case, like was close to the community and this like um, man, this older man that thought he knew like what God was doing but there's this masculine who is actually very righteous like a good man like a truly good man like good in his heart I feel like that man sees you in a different light and it's like putting you in a different category than what these people or this man was trying to put you in Right, this older karmic masculine was trying to put you in. 
it's kind of like he's taking you out of the box that they were trying to put you in and put you on a blank cave canvas and see what it really is for himself um, and yesterday's video I talked about you being a blank canvas as well because the only thing on this canvas is the woman's face nothing else is on that canvas so there is a man it could be like a divine masculine if you are if this reading is for a divine feminine there's a divine masculine that's seeing you for who you are or is trying to see you and your own lights not under the light that they were trying to paint you under like he's trying to observe you for you or you know what I'm saying so I mean that's good so if they were trying to paint you as being a privileged lady in reverse like you didn't deserve this you didn't deserve that you should be in poverty you should not have this you should not have that this man is like why why should she not deserve this why should she not have this why should she live a life of poverty and struggles and why enlighten me please so i can understand why right so he's trying to figure these things out like why a whole community um listened to what this karmic masculine was saying and on top of that he's trying to figure out why this karmic masculine said what he said about you You are at peace with yourself, collective. Your DNA has God's signature. God created you specifically. So I feel like you're at peace with yourself because you know that what's you for you will always be for you. And God's going to make sure that's going to happen, right? All that good stuff. So whatever is going on, you're not really worried about it. Because you know at the end of the day that what's yours is yours. And I feel like... So if this karmic, older karmic masculine felt like you should not, there's some, it had to be like jealousy or something. Like he just felt like someone that he thought or someone that he wanted to be a chosen one should be a chosen one and you shouldn't be a chosen one. So he could have known that you were very special, unique and a chosen one, but he just didn't want it to be you. He wanted it to be somebody else. Like he just didn't feel like you should be a chosen one. God's like why like doesn't make sense and this man around too is like but why though it doesn't make sense like god said this divine feminine is a divine feminine why why do you not think that she is right like i just everybody's trying to figure out like this this man this uh it could be divine masculine he's really trying to figure out why this karmic masculine this leader like doesn't think that you deserve to be a divine feminine that why does he think that you're not a chosen one anyways it says neptune's warning if you put your faith only in the world of your senses you will always know a hunger that cannot be satisfied as the ocean dissolves the beach beneath your feet i will show you that your fine castles and all inside are made of sand so whatever this foundation empire Stability, success, generational wealth, comfortability, luxury lifestyle that this man tried to build. And I'm saying build because it wasn't really building it from the ground up. It was just taking it from you and then placing it underneath their feet, stepping on it and say, look what I build. Look what I'm stepping on. Look what I look what I have. But that's not really what the, that's not it. God's like, that's mad fake. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's like, but it, like, it's not real. That's not his. The foundation that he was trying to build or give to someone else was false. It wasn't truly theirs. And it was just to like, I don't know, like feed an ego or something. If you put your faith only in the world of your senses, you will, only, you will always know a hunger that cannot be satisfied. And then it has poverty right underneath that. I feel like this is like false signs and wonders like this man thought like I don't know he could have thought he was operating out of faith but come to find out it was actually ego because you're telling me you had all these people listening to you listening to you and following you and 
taking your advice and blah 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 and everybody is still in the same position as they were for like the past 5, 10, 15, 20, 35 years? How is that possible? Because last time I knew, God elevates. He expands. He helps you progress. He helps you grow. Right? Like, how are, how are you telling me that a whole congregation is still stuck and stagnant? There's no growth. There's no movement. There's no faith. Like... I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. Like, what are you teaching these people? Stop listening to liars. So, this community could be scolded. Like, again, like I said, um, this karmic older masculine could be getting scolded. And one of the reasons why he's being scolded is because uh, people around him could be like, yeah, he's lying because... If that's the truth, where is all the gold? Where is the progression? Where is the luxury, the comfortability, the generational wealth, the success? Where is the, the accolades, the triumphs, the victories? Where is the comfortability? Right? Stop listening to liars. Like this community of people are now looking at this older karmic masculine like, you said this. You said blah, blah, blah. But, like... Right? So, that's another thing, too. This divine masculine could be, like, pointing something out to this community of people. Like, wh why does this man think that she does not deserve this? Or why does this man think that she, he does not deserve this? And the community of people are just like, oh, well, well, okay. And this man's like, okay, but why? Right? Why? They no longer know their purpose. on top of thoughts so that's why they have you all up in your mind I feel like you getting something that this karmic masculine this older older gentleman who is like a pillar in the community or whatever or like the head of something or because he was so for sure saying like he swore up and down to the bottom of the barrel to his bones that like you were not going to get something come to find out you are getting something everyone's just like what what's going on what do we do what's going on what do we do now they're questioning their own reality they're questioning who's a liar should they stop listening to so and so blah 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 like they don't know what's going on this is what happens when you be when you're like a sheep and you have like blind obedience to man like that's why you gotta like have faith and like operate out of your heart because like you're just listening to this person who's listening to this person. Next thing you know, you guys just ended up in a slaughterhouse and you guys don't even know how you got there. Like, I did that. I feel like this is a continuation from that one reading I did about the sheep being led to the slaughterhouse. Go watch that video. Because I feel like now these people are just like, well, what just happened? Nobody knows what just happened. This man doesn't even know what's going on. And they can't go to this preacher, this boss, this man. They can't even go to him because he's sitting in his feelings not sure what to do because... He doesn't even know what just happened. So it's like everybody doesn't know what's going on. And they can't. They don't have someone to turn to to ask what's going on. Because the person that they were so sure like following and listening to. Like they were sure that he knew. Come to find out he doesn't know. And because like they're. These people they don't want to think for themselves. Because it's easier. Here's the thing about sheep. It's easier to not think for yourself because when you're not thinking for yourself, you're not making your own decisions. And when you're not making your own decisions, it's easier for you to be like, well, I didn't know. It's easier for you to not take accountability because you didn't make that decision, right? It's like making no decision and letting someone else make the decisions for you. That is a decision because you're not thinking for yourself you're letting someone else I feel like letting someone else make the decisions for you think for you speak for you and blah blah that's so much worse than you making the wrong decision because like you just I don't know I just feel like that's worse like you could have had the decision to not be led to the slaughterhouse B um, they could have also said that you were a barren that you were not spiritually inclined that you could not uh, you had no spiritual gifts, no abilities, right? Someone could have also said that you were like a, a B-I-T-C-H, like a, a bitch or something like that. But I feel like this is barren. Like somebody felt like 
because you had no children or you were refusing to have children or they just felt like you were barren either out here or spiritually like they just felt like you were just not the one to be gifted with this that you felt i also feel like this man wanted you to be spiritually barren if you don't know what the word barren is it means that you cannot create anything in your womb right and that could be like a child or that could even be like spiritually like you cannot manifest anything this man just didn't want you to have this gift or this ability like he just wanted you to be barren because he just felt like it, it just you just should not manifest the life that you want you should just not have children you should just not do this i don't know what his problem is all right but that's that's what that is we have the letter f healing brings in love and happiness so if you healed collective divine feminine by you healing it's allowing love and happiness to bring in i feel like you were able to create a family or you have a family and a family doesn't have to be a mother father and children it could just be you and your children or you and your child or you and your pets or you and your partner you and your significant other whatever right it's just whatever family you have like this man just didn't feel like you just deserve that whatever that case it is i don't know what his problem is but let me move on now I also feel like he was like falsely accusing you of something like maybe he was like saying that you're a witch so you don't deserve like i feel like he was saying that if you were a witch or you dabbled in dark magic or black magic or whatever the case it is you're unworthy of god's gift and it's like how are you taking it upon yourself to speak upon not only on someone else's life but what god deemed to be worthy of and it's kind of like if God said this divine feminine can do this or is granted this, it has the rights for this, or I don't know, like, why does this man, why did the, this man think that it, like, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense. Like, why did he think he could speak upon God when it came to you? Like, who told him he was God's spokesman? Like, that's what he thought he was. Oh, well, the divine feminine is doing this. So she's not a divine feminine. She doesn't, she, doesn't, she doesn't deserve this. She doesn't deserve that, you know. You know, she doesn't deserve God's gift. God is the one that gave it to her. God knows what's going on. God sees everything. Like, how, how are you going to say that? If God's looking at this divine feminine and sees what she does on a day-to-day, second-to-second, minute-by-minute basis, he's looking at her or him. Why does this man think, no, God says that she doesn't, God is literally looking at her and is still allowing her or him. So, like, what makes you think that God doesn't want that because God's, like, right there with her, making sure it happens, it's happening. Like, that's what I don't understand. The hermit. So that could be Virgo energy. I also feel like this man felt like it was weird or something because you like chose to like isolate yourself from this group, congregation, people, and whatever this is. I also feel like if you were not around these people, this man, like, he, I don't know what, but he swore he knew you up and down. But come to find out, like, you were just moving out of love and light the entire time. You were letting love guide your way. You see how this lantern is, like, the shape of a heart? And I feel like that staff, it's like, it represents, like, movement. Like, you were just moving out of love and light the entire time. But it's like, that's not something that you can really see. 
I don't know. That's so. The world reverse. There's a bunch of people that are not happy right now. They're not happy because they have to. They're going to be like stuck and struggling and in poverty and. I don't know. I also feel like one of the reasons why they're unhappy is because they just. The cycle of them being in poverty is not closed. It's not. And whoever he wanted to take out of poverty or uh, a lifetime of struggles or whoever he wanted to give generational wealth and success and stability to, it's that chosen person of his, that's, it's not happening for them right now. It's like it's literally not in the cards for them right now. But it is for you. It's for you to not be in struggle and uncomfortable and blah, blah, blah and all that stuff. Right? Like that cycle has ended for you. And I feel like he wanted to end this cycle for his bloodline, his generation, his whatever, his chosen. That's just not the case. Like you can't just take something from someone and be like, okay, now you have it. Now you get to have this promotion and looks like God's like no because we already chose who's getting promoted temperance Sagittarius peace I feel like these people are like forced to see something they have like no choice but to be like either you can be at peace with this or you can like not because it's either way it, it's not going to affect you collective because you're at peace with yourself and then we have temperance out again so you guys can either be at peace with this and accept it for what it is or not but at the end of the day it makes no difference to me because I'm good does that look good? We have death upright and the nine of swords upright. Scorpio energy. So there's a bunch of people that are definitely not at peace right now. There's like mass anxiety happening right now. Like mass anxiety, mass paranoia. Confusion. They can't sleep at night. Or it could be a Scorpio that can't sleep at night. A karmic Scorpio involved in this. But I feel like for the most part, what they thought was so for sure, it, it just turned out to be like... Like they swore something was going to be changing for them. It, Something is changing. Absolutely, things are changing. But it's just not the way things... It's not the way they thought things were going to be changing. It's not the way things... It's not the way they thought things were going to be changing. And I feel like that's why... like that, There's like that mass anxiety where like that cause for concern is coming from. Because it's like things are not changing the way they thought it was going to be changing. And there's nothing they can do about this either. So you divine feminine could be a high priestess. You could have seen this coming. So that's the thing. Like if you saw this coming, you didn't do anything about it. That's why you were always at peace with yourself. Because at the end of the day, what's going to happen is going to happen. And what's yours will be yours. That's how I see it. Why am I going to be worried about something that's not only inevitable, 
but it's just gonna jumpstart me to get in me what's belong to me and you're like well, I don't have to do anything but just sit back and let it happen like I'm I'm okay like those cookies are gonna bake no matter what I might as well just sit back and smell the cookies and you know I'm gonna get what's mine anyways we have the page of cups on the fence in the middle Privilege lady on the reverse. Page of Cups. Page of Swords. I feel like what was done here was like very childish. It was just it didn't need to be done, but I guess in a way it did have to be. Like it had to happen this way. Like, if you look at it from, a, like, an outsider perspective, you're like, wow, that's so stupid. It didn't have to happen that way. But for your character development, it did. Hold on one second. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I also feel like they wanted you to be stuck in this, like, childish, immature energy so when you would never like create your own family you would never like like I don't know you would just choose to not do certain things to elevate yourself or for your own personal growth or like like you know how there are some people who you just don't think that would make good parents but then they have a child and then like wow he's a really great father wow she's a really great mother something like that like it's not they i don't know they just wanted you to be in this energy where you would never take some sort of opportunity job whatever because come to find out you're actually excellent at that job i don't know they just wanted you to be in this energy of like being childish but what happened was they ended up being childish towards you and this is what happened to them and then we have the page of swords on the um bottom of the deck upright i feel like by trying to create challenges for you they just made things worse for themselves they're just trying to block you and keep you stuck and stagnant and being childish and never putting childish things down it just showed them that they can't put childish things down. They're also trying to figure out ways to block you and take something from you. And I don't know. It's just, it's just stupid. All right, let me get one more and then I'm going to close the reading. I just saw 48, 44, fours and eights, fours and eights. So you're always going to be protected. You've always been protected throughout, throughout all of this. Trust your path. Listen to intuition. Sorry, I just burped. Seek direction and embrace discovery. Answers reveal the journey within. Trust your path. So I feel like that's exactly what I just said. Where I was like, you just you didn't have to do anything. You just knew this was going to play out a certain way. You just had to like let it play out the way it's supposed to play out. You didn't have to do anything. You didn't have to say anything. You didn't have to dabble in magic. You just, God said, sit back. Let me do what I got to do. And you're like, all right, cool, bet. Say less. That's exactly what happened. That's what I'm saying. Like, you could have seen the outcome of a certain situation from the very beginning, as soon as it started, when it started, how it started, and you were always going to be at peace with yourself because you knew at the end of the day what was meant to happen was meant to happen because what was supposed to be yours 
will always be yours. See? Trust your path. All right. So this is a reading. Hope it helps. Bye.